One of the things we didn't look at before was how do I maintain this exhaust system? I did get a comment on this one that a gentleman did it a different way. One of the reasons I picked this method is you see how easy it is to undo the clamps there? You simply pull down or up, depending on which way you've got it on, and you can rotate those clamps so you can have it either way, and then they come off. Now I'm going to take it off from the side over here because this way I can use two hands and have the camera mounted. So you just release those, and if you take them a little farther, they're actually, if you push it down all the way, it actually opens up far enough that it slips off. There's a little flange there. You see the little plastic flange sticking up. And you do that on both sides, and it releases it and simply slides out, which is, to me, fantastic. So there's no tools needed other than a rag and some cleaner, and you can clean it off. Uh, it's only been on there for probably two or three hours of use, so it's uh, still in pretty good shape. Uh, it does a good job. I mean, it does an excellent job of evacuating it. And it's also a dryer vent unit, so it's used to high moisture, high temperature exhaust. It's a booster fan for dryer vents. Um, that's one of the reasons I chose it. So it's easy to maintain, easy to clean. Your dryer vents are supposed to be cleaned every six months to a year, depending on how often you use it. Most people don't do it. Unfortunately, if you have an electric dryer, it can cause fires. Now we're going to move outside. I didn't show this in the last video. This is the screen cover for that outside vent that I showed you from the inside. This pulls out. It's not glued in place. It's just a pressure fit. You just push it in place. And behind that is a fine screen to keep the mosquitoes and bugs out. That should be checked periodically. But it's uh, not beige, unfortunately. They didn't have beige available, so I just left it that color that it was. So you have a good day, and thanks for watching.